everybody, I'm back again with another video and I hope you guys had a wonderful New Year's. I hope you guys were able to spend it with your friends and your loved ones and I hope everybody made it home safely. Um, I personally had a wonderful New Year's. I spent it with all my close friends and we just had a lot of fun. A lot of the gurus these days, they're doing like the best of 2000 tag, so um, 2010 tag. So I thought it'd be fun for me to do it too. Pretty much show you guys you know basic face stuff you know best foundation best eyeliner best shadows pretty much all that stuff so i hope you guys enjoy and if you guys have any requests like any uh, video requests for me to do i'll happily do it i know i say this a lot of times but i don't get any requests still like i get a few here and there but i don't get like you know variety so yes please leave your like comments and like it and do whatever you want oh and also got a haircut i don't know if you guys could tell i have more layers um and uh, it's like more choppy and stuff. So, yes, I always talk a lot and I always have a long intro. But anyways, let's get started now. All right, so let's start off with the most important thing for the face, and that would have to be foundation. So the best foundation of 2010 would have to be, without a doubt, the Boots Number no. Seven Lifting and Firming Foundation. I <laughs> this up. I really love this foundation. Like you guys have heard me talk about it, but honestly, this is the most greatest foundation I've ever used. I don't know. It blends beautifully. It stays on for a long time. Um, it doesn't break me out. It has SPF 15. It's hypoallergenic. It's for sensitive people. It's like pretty much everything you need in a foundation. I am in the shade uh, 25 Vanilla. I have it on right now. I don't know if you guys could see, but it really does blend in beautifully. It blends in beautifully whether you're using a brush or your fingers. But yes, I highly recommend this, and you can find this at Target for $14.99. So I know I just got this for Christmas, but I've been using it every day since, and it's the uh, Cover FX Camouflage Concealer. And this is light to medium, and I absolutely love this. This covers really, really well, and it looks really natural. And you only need a little bit to cover like your entire face. Like I literally need about, let me see. So I'll show you guys how creamy it is. So pretty much that much would be good for my under eyes. Let me show you guys how it blends. Like that. See how creamy it is? And like it just it blends really easily and it covers really nicely. So Really, really like this concealer. Um, there's days where I just wear this concealer by itself and it works as a foundation as well. This, on the other hand, is very, very pricey. You could get the small tube for $27 at Sephora, but I highly recommend it. Next would have to be my favorite blush. And I know I got this for Christmas also. Actually, I got this a week before Christmas, but I absolutely love this and I've been using this every single day. This is Coralista. And this is from Benefit. And it's basically just like a really peachy, nice blush blush it's just a really really pretty color it's really really pigmented if you guys could see I don't know if you guys could see but it's just it's really really pigmented and it looks really 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 natural I usually don't wear blush because I feel like I'm gonna look like a clown but this really just gives me that really healthy complexion look a really small tip is that if you do buy it this comes with it and this is supposed to hold like the applicator I suggest you keep it so for future uses like your brush doesn't you know touch the product and stuff and yeah I actually really like the brush too the brush is super super soft super super soft it's an all around very good blush um, this is since I got this for free I don't exactly know the full price I think it's $26 because I did want to buy it before but yes you could buy this at Sephora alright next would have to be my favorite bronzer and I have never really showed you guys this but I am always looking for like the perfect bronzer because I am very very light and very very pale so I'm always in search of that perfect color finally saved enough money to buy this NARS Laguna and I absolutely love it um, highly recommend it it's um, just like this brown color and it just really looks really good on every complexion that I've seen it on it gives you such a natural glow like this and Coralisa pair together looks really really nice this I could officially say that this is my holy grail um, bronzer so highly recommend it this is $32 at Sephora but um, I suggest you get it and you won't regret it okay next would be like my favorite eyeshadow and it would have to be the Revlon color stay um, 12 hour shadow in 01 copper spice and this was in my 
forgot which favorite. Oh, this was in my drugstore thing, but I've honestly been using it ever since I bought it. I've been using it for more than like four or five months, and I absolutely love it. I have it on right now. It's these shadows, I've never personally, I've never used like a primer with them, and they last the whole day. So really, really like the sh these shadows. They're very, very affordable, and they're very, very pigmented. I think I swatched these for you guys, but I'll do it again. So if you guys could see that, they're very, very pigmented. Next would have to be my favorite liners. And my favorite liners would have to be, be the Milani Liquid Fine Metallic Eye Pencil, which I have said in my drugstore haul too. And I absolutely love this. Look, look how dark that is. It's amazing how dark it is. And yes, you let it set for 15 seconds and it won't go anywhere. I said that before, but I'm just going to show you guys how well it works. So I'm just going to let it dry. For 15 seconds. I always have to do like a stupid dance or something, huh? And I'm rubbing this and it's not coming off, it's not smudging or anything. So if you guys see that, it's like it's not going anywhere. So highly recommend that liner or this eye pencil if you guys are looking for, you know, good drugstore eye line. Alright, next would have to be my favorite eyebrow pencil and it would have to be, show this in my drugstore haul, the Sonia Kashuk um, Brow Definer and this is in taupe. So I've been using this ever since the same time I bought this. And um, as you can see, it has not even gotten smaller yet. Like, I use this every single day. Like, I can't leave my house without filling in my eyebrows. And I've been using this every single day, and it just has not been getting smaller. And I have it on right now, too. I use these to fill in my eyebrows, and um, really, really like it. It looks super natural. It's only $5.99 at Target, so you can't really go wrong. So definitely 2010's best eyebrow pencil for me. It's always important to wear sunblock. And uh, my favorite sunblock would have to be Clinique's SPF 30. It comes in like a yellow tube, and as you can see, I've used a lot. And I absolutely love it. It does not break me out, which is really, really good. Like, I didn't notice, but the Shiseido one was actually breaking me out quite bad. So I didn't even really notice it. Like, I would get clogged pores every single time. And then I think I had, I didn't use it for maybe two weeks. And, like, all those clogged pores started, like, you know, going away. And then I put it on again and it came back. So I kind of figured that it was breaking me out. So it blends into your skin really nicely. It doesn't leave your face oily at all so if you guys could see how easy it blends like it goes away like really nicely like you guys can't even tell very very good sunblock you can buy this at macy's or any clinic counter for i think 17 dollars which is reasonably priced for like a department store sunblock best makeup remover would have to be these from target and this is the makeup removers from up and up Mention these in my other videos also. Really, really good uh, makeup remover. It really takes off everything. After 15 seconds, it takes forever to take it off. But this, these wipes really just do a really good job. So, so you can see in one wipe, it really just took off most of the makeup already. So, really, really good makeup wipe. See? By the second time, it's all gone. Last product would have to be this. Okay, this I could consider that I've used all year. Like, I honestly use this the whole entire year. And it's the Maybelline Dream Matte Powder. I actually really, really like it. Actually, duh, I've been using it for so long. This is in San. And this is medium to zero one. And the first one I had was like the light one. And it was just way too light for me. But this is perfect for me. And I, I just use this every single day. As you can see, it's kind of getting a dent. So I'm trying to make it hit pan. Like I've never gotten anything that I hit pan. So, yes. But yes, those are my favorite products of 2010 and I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope this is like a rather quick video because I know a lot of people are doing this right now so I, I doubt you guys want to hear me talk about it. I hope you guys have a wonderful new year to come. I hope you guys have good health, you know, good fortune, this and that. I don't know. I'm, I'm, I'm not really good at doing like speeches. Or yeah. That's pretty much my 2010 favorites and I hope you guys will show me yours. Like I want to see yours. Like, I always want to hear other people's suggestions. Like, my subscribers. Like, I want to hear what they... I want to see their favorite products, but they don't show me. Yes, I'm just talking to myself now. So I hope you guys enjoy the video, and I will see you guys later. Peace. 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 Every concealer, every concealer recommend this. I just broke it. Oh shoot. Okay, so this is the lid. <laughs>